Right guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back to another Minecraft related video. And what is this? We are finally back on World Painter. It's been about five months since my last tutorial video. So I thought it was about time we talk about some of the new stuff, but mainly show you my technique on making huge epic looking caves. Now before we start, I do have six World Painter custom brushes. So if you do want these custom brushes, just send me an email to that email address and I'll send them to you in my free time. I usually take about two weeks because I get way too many emails and you know, it's that's it. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's begin today's video and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Right guys, so step one is to create a new world. So file, new world, and we are gonna call this Epic Cave of um, Bob. Epic Cave, <laughs> right, dimensions 1152 by 1152 just to make it big enough to work with. We're going to create a flat surface area and we're going to increase the level of the map to about 100. Now remember the, the level specifically because it's going to help you when you are uh, basically messing around with the brush settings. So level 100 and then click on create. Right guys, so what we need to do now is create some mountains. So first off, we're going to click on our custom brush and increase the intensity to about 100%. Then we're going to click on view, show 3D view and just use this as a guide to basically see what we are doing. And using our mouse wheel, we're going to scroll in and out to create variations in our mountain. Use different custom brushes to create different mountains and once you're happy, Obviously, I'm doing this completely randomly. Um, you know, it's purely for tutorial purposes to show you how to make the cave. Right, guys, so I've just finished creating this huge mountain range. Um, you know, just basically added some trees, uh, made it a bit more realistic, a bit more interesting to work with. So let's close that and I'm going to show you how to make our huge epic cave and we're going to use our mountains as a guide to make this cave and I'll show you what I mean by that. We're going to start by adding a custom layer and we are going to click on add a custom cave tunnel layer and you should get these settings pop up. Right so we need to begin with the ceiling of the cave so we're going to click on fixed depth and we are going to lower the level to about 45 and what this means is that we are going to have a 45 block gap between the surface of our mountain and the beginning of our cave. Now we're going to increase the smoothness range to about 20. We're going to increase the roughness to 1% and we are going to click on our surface material which is going to be stone. So there we go. And then for the floor we're going to click on opposite of terrain and we are going to increase the level to about 130. So that is basically when you can see the surface over here. I'm clicking. Um, obviously, if, it, if you do that, it's not going to look too good. So um, about 135 should be fine. Material, again, we're going to click on stone and then click on OK. Um, roughness, you could make it about, well, you need to raise the smoothness first to about 5 and then click on roughness 1. Right, so walls, we're going to increase the bottom width to about 15 and the top width to about 15. So same for both. And material, again, it can be um, stone. Click on OK. You can select the color that you want. I'm just going to click on orange because orange is my favorite color. Name, cave, and then you can also remove the water and lava and then click on OK. Right guys, so the final step before we finish our caves, we are going to click on our new custom layer, which we just created. It should be right here at the bottom or somewhere over here. Um, we're going to go over to our brush settings, which is over to our right. And we are going to go to options and click on the at or above setting. Now, if you remember, we created our map at level 100. So if we basically raise this to level 110, What's going to happen is when we start painting our brush, 
it's going to paint our cave on everything above level 110. That is exactly what it means. So at or above level 110, it is going to paint our cave. And the good thing about this new setting is that it works for everything. So if you want trees above level 100, just tick on that and start painting on some trees. It works for biomes, it works for everything. Um, I'll show you a quick um, beach tutorial, I guess. So just click on bare sand. We're going to click on at or below. And at or below level 101. You start painting and there you go. As you can see, it's starting to paint our beaches. So, um, you know, it's a very helpful tool. Um, so now we have our caves. We're going to export this map and check out um, exactly what has happened, <laughs> what we've created. So um, let's just change that to creative. And one more thing, if you go over to other layers, sorry, resources, um, over here we have water and lava. Just lower that to 0% because it's going to create a mess of lava and water everywhere and we don't want that. So um, yeah, there we go, creative and export. Now I don't know about you guys, but this looks a lot more realistic than what I was expecting. But um, either way, we're going to fly over to this peak, dig straight down. Let me set speed 1 and dig straight down, take a look at our cave. So it should be about 50 blocks, roughly. And there we go. Now personally, I love this type of cave. It gets a bit difficult to walk around when you're playing on survival, but um, I still prefer this type of cave. There's obviously a ton of options that you can do. You can make it taller, you can make the surface flat. I mean, there's a ton, a million things that you can do. Um, you can obviously add another custom layer and just cut across this cave and make like two different caves together and etc. But um, what I would do, what I've been doing for my jungle map, is I would make an opening. So, just like that to make some air, air, to make some light flow in. And then I would do schematic load T1, which is one of my trees. Did that work? I have no idea. Paste minus A. Huge tree. And I would fill up this with water. So, fill water a thousand by a thousand and there we go now we have this huge cave with some water a tree growing and it looks so nice you know it gives you a bit a bit extra to explore and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial video gives you a couple of ideas to work with and um i hope you enjoyed this video uh, that is epic fail ending <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you'd... Ah, damn it, I almost said it again. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more Minecraft videos. And if you don't know who I am, check out some of my downloads. i got tutorials, playlists. i got the Hardcore Survival Episode 2 coming up in the next video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. This is Jerocraft, over and out.